Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Everyday eLearning. In today's video, we are going to study cascading data selectors or multiplexers. And for this video, we are going to implement a four input max using two input maxes. Now, the number of maxes we can use is not specified, so we can use any number of maxes we want. So for this one, we are going to use three two wins to one max. So at first, let me draw one max here another max here and another max here now we uh, you are going to understand pretty well why i used three two is to one maxes because you see we'll have two input lines for this one and two input lines for this one so eventually we have four input lines and a two is to one max will have one selector line only and let us denote the inputs using d0 d1 d and D3 all right so we have selector lines for these two maxes and we'll have output lines as Y1 and Y2 and these output lines will be the input lines of the later max and it will also have the output Y with a selector line named S1 now you see that the four input lines are supplied to these two maxes and these two maxes are selecting the particular inputs and these inputs are directed through a single line to the later max and it is giving us one output from the four inputs now it will be clear to us if we see the later truth table here now we'll have selector lines s1 for the later max we have selector line s0 for the previous two maxes we have the output line of the previous two marks as y1 and y2 and the later max as y now if we take four patterns here 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 it will be easier for us now see if we have s0 as the selector line of the previous two maxes then our output will be for this one our output will be d0 and for this one our output will be d2 d0 and d2 so for the later max we have the selector line selected to 0 so we'll have the output of y same as that of the y1 so we'll have y as d0 now if we move on to the second one the selector line of the previous maxes are given to one so we'll get y1 output as d1 and y2 output as d3 this is d3 all right now the later max is selected again to zero so we'll have the output of y1 as the output of y so it is d1 now again the selector line of the previous ones are changed to zero so we have y1 as d0 and y2 as d2 now the selector line of s1 is now 1 so we get the output of y2 as the output of y so we have y here as d2 now for the last one s0 is selected to 1 and s this one also selected to 1 so for 1 we get for y1 d1 and for this one we get d3 d1 and d3 now this one is also given 1 so for the output of y we have to take y2 so the output of y2 is d3 so in this way we can perform cascading of different multiplexers there can also be formation of 8 is to 1 max using 2 is to 1 or using 4 is to 1 we will see that in later videos if required but till then i hope this was of help and if you need to understand more cascading please feel free to comment we'll get back with another video thank you for watching this video take care goodbye